Hello, hello guys, and welcome back to my channel, Wrestling With Books. If this is your first time here, my name is Nina, and on this channel, while I don't talk about wrestling, I do talk about books. If you wanna hear me talk about wrestling or Disney or other nerdy things, you can check out my other channel, Wrestling With Disney, but here, it's all about the book, starting with my recent reads. These are the reads that closed out my 2022 reading year. Now I am filming this on Christmas Eve so we may have one or two more but I'll be sure to include that in the next wrap up so you're gonna want to make sure to subscribe so you can come along on the journey. Now in today's video I'm going to be talking about uh, a lot of the books or the most common theme, um, most common theme, most common appear genres are young adult and romances and so let let's get to it the first one though is neither neither <laughs> it's a fiction book called flight by lynn steger strong and i actually did a standalone book review of this because i got the physical book from Goodreads. So when I get a book, you know, that's given to me with the intention for a review, I like to do a standalone book review on that. So if you want more detail on the book, you can go to that video. But what I will say is that it is a great Christmas read about what families realistically are like at Christmas. Oh my God. It was so, it's because, okay, it's about you know, siblings and their partners. So you got all the in-laws having the first Christmas at someone else's house after the last surviving parent has passed. So in this case, it was their mother. So you really get, it's kind of this, they're all coming together kind of forcefully, you know, to try and keep the tradition alive. But it's like, is this really gonna work? Isn't it? Do we get along? Don't we? You know, and there's, you're gonna find that there's different in-laws you relate to or different characters. It was really, really good. So if you have a lot of siblings or maybe even just regular family drama, it doesn't have to be dramatic, but sometimes there's drama in family. Like somebody wants the kids to go to bed early and the others wanna stay up and watch Christmas movies together, you know, stuff like that. So this book was really fun for that. The next book I read was a young adult fantasy and I purchased this book on ebook because it's free on ebook and it is Beautiful Demons by Sarah Cannon. So I've mentioned Sarah Cannon before because I have been binge watching and I mean binge watching her YouTube channel Heart Breathings because in that channel she talks all about being an author and the tools and tricks and trades and all of it. She's a self-published author and she has a lot of information as to why she went that route and how aspiring authors can go that route successfully. And it's really opened my mind about that side of publishing. So definitely check out her channel, but you can also check out this book. So it's about Harper Madison and she, she's kind of, it's almost like, you know, Harry Potter. And when in the beginning, when weird things happen, cause he doesn't realize he's magical, that's kind of happening with her. But, um, in a, in a different way. She keeps getting kicked out of foster homes because these mysterious kind of things happen. And um, she is sent to the shadow, shadow for at home for, you know, kind of like delinquent girls. And this is gonna be like her last chance and she has a fresh start at Peachville High. Eventually, and, and the Peachville, the, the school team is like the Peachville Demon. So when a Peachville Demon cheerleader ends up dead, then, you know, it's like, uh-oh, there's more to this town than she realized. So this is the first book in a 12-book series. It was not long, so this is a short... Um, time commitment for books so if you like paranormal books you know maybe things like demons shadow hunters that type of thing and you're up for like a fun 12 book commitment go for it this was this was fun and i think i will follow along with it because i really want to see how her writing evolves just because of how well she teaches on it the next book I read was a library rental and it was called A Night to Remember by Walter Lord. And it is about the Titanic. And it's such a great account from firsthand 
witnesses, like attendees, like people who were on it. It's so, oh my gosh. It was first published, which I had no idea until I tried to buy it for my dad in 1955 so even then it was still really like it almost became this taboo thing for the survivors especially the male survivors because if you survive there was an implication that your space took someone else's when some of them just survived you know that they they made it on a, a b raft or a plank you know and they survived and it goes through of course there are all those you know stories of kind of all the perfect disasters that came together that prevented this ship from either being saved or not hitting the iceberg but you also learn about those who who were in rafts who insisted on going back but it was still just you know they they really weren't finding live bodies it's just really just uh riveting and i i hate using like just positive descriptive words because it's a, such a disaster of what happened it's such a tragedy but i think it's very clear how much was learned from the titanic yeah it's just one of those things i have to kind of wrap my mind around like wanting to read about it and getting entertainment from it isn't a bad thing you know it happened i can't prevent that it happened so if i can hear about these people's lives and their legacy that isn't a bad thing but when i talk about it i just feel horrible you know it's just because it was so so horrible but this book did a great job of portraying every class every ethnicity and every level of the ship and incorporating the context of of that that time period and there was a lot of negativity around that you know of of their beliefs and you know and, and classes and things like that so that is not skirted over in this book and if you have any interest in the titanic i recommend reading it the next book I read was a NetGalley read, so I do have a standalone book review on this channel for it, and it is The Naughty or Nice Claws by Kate Callahan. So, this tells the story of Lila, whose father owned a, or was the CEO of a toy company, and instead of it being left to her, it is left to her and this man, Mason Claus, who is supposed to save the company but when mason has to go back home for a family emergency he ends up taking lila with her and uh his home is a quaint christmas village and his last name is claus and you can start to put the pieces together and it's romantic very atmospheric for christmas and fun so if you want something really really christmasy that's the one to add to your list Next, I read Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Ayemide. And this I read because it was, um, I heard Haley in Bookland talking about it and I thought it sounded like something I would like. Kind of reminded me of if you saw my, I don't know if I posted it yet or will be, but my top 10 books of the, of the year had a lot of kind of young adult and young adult mysteries. So I thought this is would be something I would like. It came out in 2000, 2021 and it takes place at a private academy and Devin and Chiamaka are selected to be part of the senior class prefix. And I just say, I did not know that word till Harry Potter. And then when I started hearing prefix more and other things, it's like, oh, this is a thing. I know. <laughs> but after the announcement is made, and this is at the start of the year, things start going downhill. There is this group that calls themselves the aces sending these anonymous texts and the targets are always Devin and Chiamaka and they only have one thing in common and they are the only two black students in this school so they come together to kind of put together the the pieces of what is happening here and is it really as as racist and horrible as it seems it is it is definitely um definitely has a lot of relevant social commentary to it and was a was a good read i didn't see what was coming 
And I wanted to squeeze in another Christmas read, so I went for Debbie Maycomber. So hers are always short and sweet, and I prefer her newer ones to the older ones. So I got one that just came out this year called The Christmas Spirit, and this is about two best friends who swap jobs for the week leading up to Christmas. We have Hank, who is a bar owner, and oh, what's the other guy's name? Well, I just read it. That's why it's bothering me. But the other one is a pastor. So, you know, these are these are quite the different roles. But they realize the other one doesn't have it as easy as they thought. And, of course, you know, romance blossoms where each man ends up going. So it was a really, really fun Christmassy read. And that was my short reading wrap up for you. Short and sweet, but that's how I like it. This way you get your quick dose of books that you can potentially add to your reading list. If there were any of these that you think made that cut, that you think you're gonna add to your list, let me know. I love to hear that. Otherwise, I will be back soon with some more videos. So I hope that you will subscribe or like this video because it does help me out to get recognized in this booktube community that I am so happy to be in. Thanks guys, and I'll see you on the next one.